Hey, hey, hey guys, I hope you're all doing very good uh, today. And yeah, there is another day, another hard fork, and another mining algorithm change. Um, yesterday we did cover a video on uh, Monero network up update, which will occur on November 30 this year. And uh, today um, there is uh, being, uh, uh, will be launched in the hard fork for a Ravencoin uh, network upgrade uh, in one hour. So I'm doing this video just before the hard fork and I wanna go with you through and take through the video and see the changes, what's gonna happen uh, in this hard fork. Um, yeah, Ravencoin has had a strong viewpoint from the launching their cryptocurrency. They have been um, against the uh, specialized mining hardware like um, ASIC miners and FPGAs, um, which are making the coin very centralized. They have been supporting uh, decentralizations a lot, so uh, they prefer uh, that um, their coin could be mined by you know hardware which is accessible to everyone, uh, which is multi-purpose hardware like GPUs. And uh, yeah, this is why they uh, keep, uh, th this is actually, I think, first uh, network upgrade, which is eliminating um, the ASIC miners and the FPGAs. Cause you know, in the even in, only in the last months, um, the network hash rate on Ravencoin has more than doubled. And since March, it's uh, more than uh, nine times uh, uh, bigger than it was. And uh, there is no real explanation behind it. You know, there there wasn't any big uh, price increase which could possibly stimulate the um, network hash rate growth, uh, which is usually happening uh, if there is a large uh, price increase. But this didn't happen. So the only explanation there is AC miners, and I know for sure there is a, a FPJ miners also. But I think this trouble. Uh, it is mostly causing ASIC miners because you know there's not as many you know it's a little limited availability for FBGA miners uh, to get them and they, they doesn't seem that big of a deal of efficiency uh, which probably is an ASIC miners so yeah I will be testing um, uh, both sides of the uh, side of the al algorithms so the current algorithm is x16r and the new version will be X16R version 2 uh, and uh, yeah we will be mining both of them and we'll see what's the probability you know because you know I'm using for this video purpose I'm using NVIDIA 8 card 1080 um, mining rig and putting the data in the calculator it seems like you know I'm actually losing money um, it doesn't even cover the uh, power costs and like 1080 uh, Ti seems like a quite efficient rig for a Ravencoin. There's only few few cards which could do possibly uh, more efficient. You know, best uh, best hash per watt uh, could you get as the 1080. So yeah, for this video purpose, I'm using um, the mining rig, as I said, you know, which has two 850 watts of power supply. And it has BSR TB250 uh, plus motherboard, uh, so it's on sitting on the risers. And I have an eight GPUs, and we will see what's the power usage and performance uh, mining Ravencoin. Um, by the way, actually also using um, HiveOS software. Um, if you don't know how to install uh, the HiveOS or you haven't used, I have a couple of video tutorials you can search on my channel. I'll try to not forget to post a link here maybe too easy clickable uh, for you if you want to try it out um, so yeah let's switch to the screen and uh, see the hash rates and what's Ravencoin mining about well there is a couple things um, how to set up Ravencoin mining on the x16r mining algorithm uh, in high voice so I will be mining this on the uh, a supernova mining pool and it's, it's it's you know it's one of the pools who has the most of the hash rate so I usually like to use those pools um, first of all of course if you you know 
if you want to mine on this mining pool you need to create an account uh, with them and then you will you know you will be able to start mining um, so when you create account you also need to create a worker name so basically you know what worker name is on the uh, um, Hive OS you just uh, add this so you can see I have minor 59 you add this here and and uh, here you put password put X you know and then just add a worker and it will create a worker like this um, this will be your Raven coin wallet address which you need to create in the uh, Hive OS uh, wallet configuration file so you go to the wallets in Hive OS and then uh, create a new wallet you can see I have here done already so add wallet uh, choose coin choose Raven coin address will be username of the uh, supernova mining pool and uh, then enter um, just to name the wallet you know whatever you like um, so I have done already this I am not gonna create one more so you can see I have Ravencoin I have named the supernova pool wallet and it's it's my username is mineshop um, so the next one you need to create a flight sheet um, I Try to use a couple of miners, you know, CC miner, enemy, and T-Rex. I like the T-Rex a little bit more because it seemed a little bit faster, you know, updating the hash rate. And uh, it seemed faster also mining, but it's not the case. Probably it's hard to figure out if it's, if it's uh, you know, faster because the uh, Ravencoin hash rate keeps uh, changing all the time because the miner is switching between the mining algorithms. So I will show you... Um, uh, what kind of configuration file? I'll also add in description. Um, there is the there is a, a you know a text file which you can export from the miner. Uh, like if you want to create a miner, you can just import a text file and it, it will automatically have the same miner configuration. So I will leave this miner which is already mining mining. I will read sorry leave the uh, 16 16R. Uh, 16R version 2 uh, minor um, configuration file, uh, flight sheet configuration file down in the description, which will, you know, when you paste it in, it will automatically start mining for you. You will just need to insert the wallet and uh, the, the pool you will be mining. The current flight sheet I'm mining looks like this. Um, so basically, you choose the coin, Raven coin, then you choose uh, your wallet, what you just created and then you choose the pool what you mind so I am supernova uh, you can configure the pool um, so basically you know this uh, port address is for the old algorithm x16r and for the version 2 there will be a new uh, port number this here 776 and 777 at the launch of the uh, you know upgraded um, network so you basically then just you know type in the address here and overwrite 776 uh, to mine the new coin. Um, so then you choose the miner, um, you know T-Rex miner, and then set up configuration. Um, and here also you know um, to mine 16R algorithm, you need to select you know for the mining old altcoin. But you're not gonna need this anyway. You know this is uh, this is the, uh, just showing what changes you will need to be done um, you'll definitely need the uh, wallet and worker names and uh, you know the because different pools has different type of setup of wallet and worker names you know if you insert this incorrectly the miner won't work um, and, the, and that, that's it you know password is X so and you can see this miner currently mining is Ravencoin at 186 mega hash and uh, you can see the 8 1080 graphics cards um, it has Biostar TB250 plus motherboard Intel Celeron CPU and uh, you know there's uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM so yeah uh, let's take a break and wait for the network switch 
and we will see uh, what's the mining hash rates and what changes need to be done to launch the miner. So it is uh, 4 o'clock and 5 minutes UTC and uh, seems like an Ravencoin has have had a successful miner, the network upgrade. I can see that miner started to hash. Um, so basically uh, what kind of configuration I am using, flight sheets, uh, Ravencoin, Ravencoin, So basically I'm using port 7776 on the supernova pool. The 777 port didn't work for me. I don't know, probably didn't, haven't, you know, it's, haven't switched yet or something. Uh, so basically the configuration I'm using the same I saw, showed you before. The same wallet address is the pool username and uh, here just configured the pool uh, to a Ravencoin 776 and uh and yeah it's mining so uh, configuration also here hashing algorithm you need to change to x16rv2 uh, which will you which will enable you the new fork and all the rest stays the same as i showed you before the fork uh, mining ravencoin um, we're just gonna check on a pool if the miners are active And the minor stats that seems yes was showing something yeah it they are showing um, a hash rate something uh, yeah and um, um, uh, probably the profits you know it's hard to tell at the moment the difficulty will probably drop in the time so I will you probably update you in a couple days what is the binding profitability to mine Ravencoin and is there any any ASIC miners um, disabled so I just have I have two NVIDIA rigs so this is 1080 uh, it's hashing at 170 may hash I see here and the other one is at uh, 75 which has five GTX uh, 1070 cards um, let's check the hash rate on the uh, on the uh, Ravencoin. That hasn't been changed yet. Um, I'm not sure if if this is live. Or this chart is live on the difficulty chart. I'm not really sure if it is it is live. Um, I assume this will drop significantly, but let's just wait and see what will be the results um yeah here also 27 terahash global hash rate pool hash rate has a little bit dropped has dropped quite a lot only 58,000 because there was uh i think there was there was about two terahash total here before the fork um let's let's see Let's see uh, what hash rate gonna be. Full workers, you can see it's dropping, and uh, and yeah. So yeah, basically it's you know just wait and see. Um, this was how to set up and start mining Ravencoin at the very start of the fork. I hope you did enjoy. So yeah, this guys was the um, update on the Ravencoin mining algorithm switch. I hope you did enjoy and uh, I hope you liked the video because I did <laughs> of course I did um, yeah and uh, I hope it was helpful for you to start mining at the very start of the Ravencoin switch and uh, yeah I see you see you on the next video and mine hard or don't mine at all bye